What's up my dudes, Valk here. Today I'm going to be talking about something that you've probably been asked, I know I get asked a lot, every YouTuber in existence gets asked this a million times a day, every streamer gets asked it, your friends get asked it, your mom who doesn't even play at Genshin gets asked this question, everyone gets asked this question. Hey Valk, should I go for C1 of this character or should I get their weapon? So, today, we're going to be using Hu Tao as an example, since she's the up-and-coming hotness and everybody wants Hu Tao. So, basically, you're debating between a passive and a whole character. Now, Valk, what do you mean by that? I mean that at C0, Hu Tao is a functional unit, and C1 is a quality of life update like most C1s are. Most C1s are not an exponential DPS increase, but they just make a character easier and more fun to play. Now you're debating that between an entirely new playstyle via a new character and a whole new way to play the game as well as other things that can accentuate your composition. So to me it's a no brainer that you should never wish for constellations or even the weapons and you should just focus on getting a C0 copy of all your favorite waifus and husbandos inside this waifu and husbando collector. Now I might be one of the minority whenever I say this, but I think it's a good thing like that. I think you're better off doing that. Now, if you really, really, really like Hotel and you want to get that C1 goodness so you don't have to think and you can just hold the circle button after pressing Sing Joe's ult, then by all means, you do you boo boo, ignore my advice. But I'm giving my advice for the people who actually care. I recommend neither. I recommend never summoning on a weapon banner as a free to play if you're free to play. I recommend getting every unit C0 or at least aiming for that goal. Find a small handful of units you really like, go C0, and if you get lucky, congratulations, now you have more funds to go into a next unit. You shouldn't be really looking at constellations unless you really, really like the unit and that's exactly what you're wanting to go for. So that's my advice on that, because everyone, and I'm telling you, is the most common question I've been asked millions of times. I'm I'm exaggerating. Li not literally millions, but it is a very common question. It wouldn't be surprised, it honestly is no surprise to me if you guys have been asked it as well, because so many people are genuinely curious on if, hey, for example, for Hu Tao, should I get Homa or C1? Which one do you think, Valt? And I always say neither. I always say don't get either one because you should be saving you should be saving for an entirely new playstyle via a new character. You should get child if you haven't had got child and you really want him, rather than saving for C1 Hu Tao because child offers a whole new playstyle. Now will you be using child in your meta teams in Abyss? Probably not. But or you should save for our Taki Ito or Yai Miko or Ayato, whoever's coming. You should be getting new characters rather than passives. For cons uh, rather than just passes because you can't even play the C1 like you don't see the C1 in action you just see you don't use stamina whenever you're in Hu Tao's stance it's not an actual thing instead you're swapping what could be a whole new character for a constellation one passive so that's my take on it that's where I stand with that because this question gets asked so freaking much and I've been repeating myself since day one on this, hey Valk, should I get C1 or their weapon? So, that's where I stand. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And also, I want to add, don't give in to YouTubers' hypes. I, I am definitely guilty of this. There are a lot of us guilty of this, where we hype up the weapon, we hype up Constellation. We say, oh my god, this unit's so good at C2, C1. Oh, their weapon is so fantastic for them. And while what we're saying is probably true more times, more often than not, uh, don't get baited by it to spend your hard-earned free mail gems and instead save for new units as new passives because you never know there might be they might you might go crazy on Arataki Ito and you might immediately regret it because they might drop some hotness immediately after so make sure that you're deciding based off what you want and not what you know the streamer says or the youtuber says is best so that's the video thank you guys for watching as always let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below where do you guys stand on this uh, i'm genuinely curious do you guys actually think that you should be going for passives over like new units or if you really like the unit like i said if you really really like the unit this doesn't really apply to you you do you boo boo it's a waifu husbando collector if you want to try to get that free to play c6 hotel you get it you do you uh, but for the people who are genuinely asking about C1 versus weapon or whatever, and whenever I say neither, just explaining it, let me know where you guys stand in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.